All right, what's up, everybody? This is Flip Trick. Uh, finally back in The Walking Dead. It's been quite a while since I've done this. Um, we're gonna get right back into it, though. This is part three of episode one. This is my my good playthrough, my honest playthrough. Me playing through the game, trying to make all the, the correct decisions. So, let's see what's in this. What's going on? Alright, so it looks like those guys are stalled and trying to get their car out of there. We'll see if we can get out there and help them. There we go, open gate. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! Would that be a Yeah. After a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chump. What are you doing? I'm trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Hey, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Uh, go with babysitter. Wait, babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Well, let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Push this car. Oh, Clementine's open. <laughs> As babysitters go, I'd say your parents are you a tip. <laughs> Not too bad. I didn't get eaten, so I guess that's a plus. Alright. Normally I would stop after I get the trophy for the next episode, but since that was like three seconds and extremely uneventful, we'll, we'll go for another one before we end this. Doing 
doing so today? Might can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You. Well, that's good. I'm glad Clementine vouched for me there. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Oh, I guess we'll be honest with him. I don't have any reason to lie. Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her? What choice is there? The house is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. You're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Um, Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, He's in for a surprise. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Mm. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Me and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. We should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, we're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Smells like. I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. I bet. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I think we're still in pretty good shape. I don't think we made any, any terrible decisions, but I guess we'll see. Hey, get up. Ooh. Ugh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not a dad. Babe, sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll 
Tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, duck, this is Lee. Might as well help him out. I don't have any reason not to. Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right, what are we doing? Seems like those two are getting along. Turkey's good with her. He seems like an all right dude. He's working on his truck. Seems like an all right dude. Alright, nothing else to say there. Still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two guys to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to offer one yet? Oh. Oh, uh, should I tell him? I. Sometimes there we go. That sounds okay. I guess. Maybe it's seek good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. What's this? Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? <laughs> not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a I was going to say something different there. We'll lock this place up good. Alright, so what are we supposed to be doing now? Let's head back, see if we can help him on the truck, maybe? the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Nope, I guess not. Alright, let's check inside the barn, see if we can do anything in here. Nope, can't even go in there.
See if you have anything to say. Alright, so now we're just doing the same stuff over again, so it's gonna be something different than I'm missing. Well, do you need something else? I already helped you. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Okay. What do you want from me? Where are the zombies? We need some action. Let's check in with Clementine, I guess. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay, alright, done. Yeah. Hey there, girls. Oh, uh, there we go. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> you good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, isn't it? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not corpses. What is it that you do, Lee? We used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our job soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Over some, just... just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. You, in these past couple of days at least. It's back in a bit. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can head over here. I think this might just be the, the tractor. Yeah. Maybe he needs help now? Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Okay. What what do you want me to do? Getting a lot of character development, but it's, it's kinda boring. Oh, I can talk to him. I didn't think I could. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Probably should have helped them out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. So on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. There we go. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Oh, I don't... I don't think I have kids. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. Yeah. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Alright.
Oh, somebody's in the barn now. I thought that was a zombie at first. Alright, what are you up to? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I would be staying with your lack of honesty last night. What are you talking about? I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of that land? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck and I walked until the report found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Uh, I was being attacked and she came to my room. There we go. Give you a piece of advice. What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. You need. Oh my god, here we go. Go! I'll get my gun! This can't be good. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, our sp what? What? Punch that zombie in the face. There we go. Now can we get shot out? Oh my god. Oh my god. Get over there. Get over there. There's more zombies to punch. What's going on? No. No. No! You were like 15 seconds too late. But you were quite the shot. Well, at least Clementine has somebody to play with. What are you talking about? Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. I didn't like Herschel anyway. You didn't even try to help. What? I thought I could help them both. You look at him. You thought wrong. And now? Get out and never come back. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Is that where I'm at now? Am I in Macon? Or? Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough.
Also, Hirsch was the only one who didn't trust me, so I think I think it's better if he's out of the picture. Trucks run out of gas. Lots of zombies. If no, there we go. Who is that? That was very convenient. Anybody. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find right. us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's known some snot-nosed toddler. Oh my god. She's the United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. And we're tossing them out now. Oh. Uh, no, you don't touch that boy. There you go. Don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What? 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 What was going on here? Ugh. Why is this not fit? There we go. Okay. 
that she doesn't have to go to the bathroom now. Said that. I should ask, please. Okay. Why did the audio just cut out like that? That was weird. Okay. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. So why am I helping this guy? Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Lincoln. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peach Street. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, Here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? <laughs> What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Lily. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Alright. I think we've got a stopping point. Quite a bit of action there near the end. Um, things are starting to pick up. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this portion right here. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to like it. Uh, let me know what you think of the game so far in the comment section below. Um, if you're not subscribed already, be sure to do so. I'll have the next video out very soon. And hope you guys come back. Check it out. Uh, thanks for watching.